Crazy Joe. Come on, Crazy Joe. What's up, fellas? Gotcha. <laughs> Come on, Crazy Joe. Come on, top, top. What is up, Cog Squad? Get my daily run in, you know what I'm saying? Gotta stay fit. A little farm run. My boys keep me in tip top shape. Keep me on my toes around here. Look at Nugget in the pool this morning. First thing. I hear you, Nugget. I don't blame you. What's up, alarm system? They loud this morning. Look at the men in black. Oh my gracious, it's the mama and the babies. Look at there. They are mudding this morning. They are mudding this morning. What's up, men in black? Look at y'all mudding. They're not interested in the clean water too much. They just want this mud hole. <laughs> Good gracious, y'all. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's in the pool. Oh, he's in the pool first thing this morning. Look at him, he's just dripping. He says it's hot. It is hot, Nugget. It is hot. Alright, guys. There you go. Maybe that's what you do when you turn two. <laughs> that's what you do when you turn two. You wake up and you sit in two. That's unusual. It is, especially first thing in the morning. He's usually up here. But not today. Today, we are in the pool this morning. And he's not feeling. No. First thing this morning. Don't he look like the Loch Ness Monster when he goes all the way down under? Maybe that's what they had over there at, uh, at that uh, big old lake. They just had an emu swimming around. Didn't know it. Hello, babies. Look at all of them, though. The thing about geese, and I've mentioned it before, it is a community with them, y'all. They just all share and take care of everybody. It's really, really, really wonderful. You gonna tell everybody good morning, Emma Jean? Tell everybody, hey, you beautiful girl. Yeah. All right, there you go, baby. Y'all look at those green stalk planters. I mean, these things, I swear, every time I come out here, they doubled in size, and I check them twice a day, I bet. Look, they're just gorgeous. Okay, enough bragging on the green stalk planters and those gorgeous wave petunias. We're going to go on a little adventure here in a few minutes. We're going to go roadside rose hunting. Jason, what is that? Well, we're going to go down these country roads and see if we see any uh it, they're not really wild roses they're just like an old antique rose that they come from an old farmstead or a, old homestead or farmhouse or whatever and they just migrate and a lot of times we can find them growing on the side of the road that's where we got our beautiful roses at our other farm which they're just gorgeous at our other farm and you know if these things are surviving growing on the side of the road then they'll definitely grow and survive here on our farm so we'll do it two different ways and uh number one we'll take a shovel with us and we'll get us some root stock and i'm not gonna dig the whole rows up i just want a little bit um i'm not gonna be no greedy needy person i just want a little bit of that rose and it'll take off i'll put it in a pot i'll baby it and it'll be good to go so i'm gonna get me a little bit of root stock that's one way and then another way is is we'll take cuttings and get us some root hormone and dip the cutting in some root hormone stick it in a pot i'll probably put it under the tables here and keep it shaded in the greenhouse and just baby it keep it watered and then it'll become a new rose and, and this is a good way to keep these roses going who knows what these things are uh, if i get some and get them going i'll take them to you know our dear friend jason over there put us from the past and if anybody can identify it it will be him for sure but I just love finding these little treasures 
just on the side of the road. I'm not taking anybody's property or anything. These are just roses growing on the side of the road that I would love to bring here. But I'm gonna run down to the barn and go get our root hormone, which you really don't have to have, but it just makes it process speed up and go faster and gives you a better chance of it taking root. Okay, hear me out. So I was, we're at the barn right here and I was picking up some blocks and picking up around the barn and I turned the corner and I just jumped out of my skin because I'm on full alert right now. Uh, it's just, this is a new area to us. We've already seen a few snakes since we've been here and it is 90 plus degrees, it's humid, so, so we know snakes are out and so I'm on full alert. Uh, walked around the barn right here on the corner i mean right right here on the corner i just got the bejesus scared out of me and y'all y'all look at this i don't want to don't want to mess her up but look right there that is ozella that is our female peacock ozella and She's definitely sitting. I'm not gonna mess with her. I don't know how many eggs she's got up under. If it's anything like it was in the past, she'll have two to four eggs under. Um, this is very unexpected. She's very well hidden. The only thing that I'm a little worried about would be a snake like a chicken snake or rat snake coming up under and, and um, getting her eggs. I'm gonna let her be. I really don't wanna mess with her. I'm fixing to go tell Brooke and Mary Carl what I just found. Have you seen Ozella, Miss Lewis? Well, there's there's Miss Lewis. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen Miss Lewis and yeah. I've seen Scott, why? But no Ozella. You know what? I sure hadn't. Hadn't seen her. No, why? Well, guess what? Uh oh. What? So I'm over there by the barn and there were some blocks and I was just kind of moving the blocks around, picking up some stuff. And there she was on the ground. Is she okay? Scared me to death, but she's fine. Oh my gracious. She's what is she doing? Sitting on eggs. Oh no. I don't know how many she's got. I didn't mess with her. I just kind of just well, you saw know, her. I've noticed them. Kind of, well, just like Miss Lewis just did. Kind of yeah. scoping the place out I, in, in some strange places. Yep. But I hadn't noticed her missing, but that's what, that's where she is. Yep. Oh my gracious. And you know, it's that time of year. It's that time of year, and I think Miss Lewis is still one year away from from being yeah, a, a be mature right. a mature female and laying eggs. You might be right. So, oh my gracious! Yeah. Do you think it's a secure place? It seems fairly secure. Um, she's very well hidden. Uh, well, I mean, my question is, we we can't move her. No, we can't move her. She would uh she would abandon everything, and, and then who she, knows if she wouldn't pick up. She would. A she, worse if, place. If than... we moved her, she'd go somewhere else and, and sit. So okay. that that's kind of where we are. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So um, we just have to keep a check on her. We'll just check on her, you know, periodically throughout the day. Now, she ain't been sitting long because I just saw her a couple of days ago. Well, I've been down to yeah. the barn, you know, numerous times. But if she scared you, then obviously I may not have seen her. She's totally hidden. Oh, goodness. And it's crazy how you think of a peacock being so elaborate and beautiful and colorful. But, I mean, she is completely camouflaged. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Tell me about it. Drama. Drama. Peacock drama. Peacock drama or on the 40. Or drama. That's right. Peahen drama. <laughs> on the 40. Hey, Scott. How come you didn't tell me Miss Lewis? I mean, Ozella. Oh goodness, I got geese over here, but I mean, how come you didn't tell me that Ozella was sitting on eggs, man? I mean, me and your buddies, you can let me know that. Yeah. Or maybe she didn't tell you, maybe she didn't want you to know she was sitting on eggs. I don't know. 
but she is. If you didn't know, Ozella is sitting on eggs. Speaking of mamas, we got three soon to be mamas right here. We still on baby goat watch. Is that what you're doing over here? Maybe that's what you're doing. Talking to these ladies, getting them prepared for motherhood. All right, well, after I got startled and excited about Ozella, I totally forgot the root hormone. Well. So I want to show y'all Ozella. Right. And I can go get the root hormone so we can go road side rose hunting. And we'll also fill her up with water while yes, we're down here. That's right. So y'all ready? There's the corner of the barn. If you peek right over there, you'll see her. But she is hard to see. I'm oh not gonna lie. Gracious. She is really hard to see. She is camouflaged. Isn't she camouflaged? I can see how she scared you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It probably would have scared me a little bit too. Ain't wow. that something? Maybe this time you won't forget what you came after. I know it. I'll go get the root hormone. Good idea. And I'll get her a water. All right, I got the root hormone and you got the water. We're, we're ready to go. I think I'm just gonna set it on one of these bricks over here. Set on one of the bricks? Let me get you one. No, I see one down here. Okay. Hey, little baby. Good deal. That worked out perfect. She didn't move. Yeah, she hardly moves. You, you, I'm telling you, you would not see her. And we'll keep an eye out on her and refill her water as needed, but we're not gonna put any food down here. We don't want to attract predators. Right. All right, big girl. All right, Oz I mean, uh, that's Ozella. Yeah, Ozella. All right, Ozella. Okay, Ozella. You have a safe hatching. <laughs> Lovely labor. Lovely labor. Hello, Miss Pinky. What are you doing, girl? It's daytime and we're seeing pink, but that's because we're in her territory. Yep, she heard us. She didn't come to, to the house during the day. Oh, pink. Or the camper, I should say. Oh, goodness. You're a good girl. She is a good girl. She gonna help watch Ozella. She is. Yeah. She's the guard cat. You do a good job. You do do a good job. All right, y'all ready to go get some? Let's go some roadside roses. Roadside rose hunting. You ready? Yeah. You want me to drive and you can hop out as usual? I'll do that. <laughs> and I think I may throw my snake chaps on just for safety. Yeah. Just for safety. All right, so I got my road side road hunt road road. That's hard to say. Road side rose hunting attire on. I got my gloves because these old roses they all got thorns on them. I got my snake pants on. I got my leather boots on. Got my sun hat on. We're ready to roll. So let's go. I must say, he looks a little bit like. Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> oh, I forgot this. I got my clippers. Maybe that's what made me think Maybe of that's it. what it was. Yeah. All right, here's where they start. I see them. Got a car coming around me. Okay. I see them. I said, oh, it's a whole mess of them. They're everywhere. They're and there's everywhere. a spot right here. Ooh, good spot. Where they're right on the side of the road. Oh, there he is. Can you get over for me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. There's some right in front if you'd it. rather check those out. I will. There's a car coming, I think. Wait, is there a car coming up there? No, it's okay. All right, I'm going to go. I bet that ground's going to be hard. It doesn't look like it's as hard as what I thought. I went to Clipper. You know that their roots are really deep. Look at that, y'all. I'm telling you, when I've gotten them in the past, it, I've had to go so deep. Really? Oh, really, really, really. This is like a light paper. I think 
think it just might be bloomed out. It may be. No, it's lighter, I think. You think? Yeah. I think I missed it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the county would have come through here and cut these down or sprayed them anyway. Oh, yeah. They Onion. I bet they rose, uh, rose hunting. <laughs> That's probably what they see. They said they're going to come dig them up some of these. That one's going to be a little more difficult, it looks. But look at how many there are. They're just everywhere. And they've just taken off to where they're almost in the road. Yeah. Dundee, you about did a crash. <laughs> Uh-oh. That one's in there? That's what I encountered. Don't hurt yourself. We don't need a Dundee down. Who that was? I don't know how many I got. I feel like I got ten. Well, I that was a success. I thought that they were just gonna. You were just gonna have to cut them. I didn't yeah. think you could dig them up. So rooting hormone may not even be needed. Well, I don't think we're gonna need it. All right, I'm gonna I'll pull on up them. because there's some lighter colored ones. Okay. But they may be a bit harder. Okay. They're, I mean, they're just everywhere. I could have sat there for an hour. That's the light one right there. Yeah, sure is. And right, I'll get turned around. Oh, it and, is everywhere, too. Yeah, they're everywhere. Okay. I'll turn around. We'll get on that side of the road. Sounds good. So, let's see. All right, here's the lighter pink one. We got turned around. The lighter pink one's up here. And it looks like it has... It's like light, light pink. And the other one is really, really hot, right. hot pink. I call it. And it comes out by the road too. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I can get some of this. All right. Yeah. These are a different color. Yeah, they're a lot lighter. They're almost white. But they're everywhere too. Yeah. Are they harder? Uh oh, I think it'd be okay. Look at all of them. A mess of them. <laughs> Roadside rose hunting has been a success. I'm glad there wasn't Dundee down. Yeah, Dundee down would have been bad, but we're good. I mean, just, just look at them. They're everywhere. Look at them up yonder. I mean, they're everywhere. And it's not like we were on anybody's property. Oh, no, we never would do that. These they're are just. Right on side. the edge of the road. The county's gonna cut them back or spray them. Worse yet, spray them. And obviously, you can see those things are relentless. Yes. They grow like crazy. Mm -hmm. They like dry. Yes. Uh, this, that ground is completely dry. We hadn't had rain. Um, so they're these, thriving. They're thriving. And that's what makes antique roses so great. 
Um, these guys have been surviving for years and years and years. And since these are gonna be adapted to our climate, they're just gonna thrive on the farm. Yes. What are you thinking about planting them in the future? Gosh, when the potage garden gets going, we'll have so many places to plant them. We will. Now figure out what we're gonna call it. What? Roadside rose wrangling. Oh. <laughs> Alright, boo, watch out. I don't wanna hit you with one of these things. Y'all can see how big the root ball is. That's good. That's really good. You can see that little bit of root stock on that one. And uh, we're cutting them back. That way they're not trying to put all their energy into all that growth they got because we've taken away so much of their root stock. So, you know, this little bitty thing here, we want it to focus on making roots and not worry about all of that growth that they had up there. Because chances are, it wouldn't work anyways. That would just start dying. This thing would stress out and the whole plant could die. So that's why we're gonna cut them back. No particular place, really. I'm just cutting them back, to be honest with you. Um, these things are relentless. They're gonna grow. Uh, I'm looking though, I see some dead in it. If I see any dead growth, I'm just cutting that out. No need of it being in there. But yeah, look at there. And that's gonna make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rose. I have the pot filled up. You got the pot ready? Yep. Good deal. Get all that grass out. See, that gets us down to this bare root and you can see where I chopped it right there getting it out. So that's why it's so crucial that we cut them back. But you can look at uh, look at the blooms on those. Aren't they gorgeous? Can we go and put them in, Daddy? You can put them in. How deep should I put it? Just like that? It needs to be cut off more. We'll cut off more too. She want to know how deep should it be? Should it about the, do you know where the root is? Okay. Yeah, toss the grass. Toss the grass. Don't need the grass. We're not growing grass. Alright, well I will continue to gauge these guys. Um, if I think I feel like I need to cut some more off, I will. But I'll just watch them. I'm going to put them underneath the, uh, the tables over here so they don't get too stressed out. And in a few days I'll pull them out. But yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. 11 beautiful roses all right so i do want to show some of you guys what we would have done if we couldn't have got any root stock uh with the root hormone and starting them in little seed trays that's pretty self-explanatory it's very easy but just in case no one's seen it done i'll show you what we would do there i mean if i wanted any more you know i could cut these stems up and have plenty more or I could go down there and dig up 40 more cut 40 more root stalks or 40 more of those little roses and you wouldn't even know when I even been there so this is what we would have done if we couldn't have got any root stock but it got us some pots with some dirt in it of course I saved the uh, pots from the wave petunias so any pots you get like these are the one gallons or three gallons or any of these pots that you get or have collected or whatever um, don't throw them away take them back to your local nursery because they are having a hard time finding these pots and they can just reuse them so you'll be recycling it and that will be going back into the trash all right so we're just gonna cut us off a little angle there cut us off a piece about yay big we're gonna take all the leaves off of it like that have us a little cutting like that we got our root stock I got this dirt moistened right here, so that'll moisten my little end here. I'm gonna dip down in there and see right there our root stock, our root hormone. And right there, I got a root hormone on our little cutting, and I'm just gonna stick that in the dirt like so, our soil. And guys, that is all it is to it. Now, you're gonna really have to watch these guys because you don't want it to dry out at all. We do not want it to dry out. And I don't want them in full sun right off the bat either. And I'm going to do six of them since I got six holes here. We're going to do six. 
cuttings here. And you can get you can even get this at Walmart. I mean it's it's everywhere. Used to back in the day. I think it was you had to get it from, you know, a nursery or something like that, but nowadays almost anybody's got root hormone. So as you can see, I have six little rose cuttings. They should take root. And as long as I baby them and take care of them. And then as they continue to get bigger, I will repot them into a bigger pot. Put y'all under the table too, in the shade for now. And y'all get big. All right, so I'm not gonna let these just sit out here and die down out here, which I could. I guess they would turn into compost. I got a plan for these guys. And that is, you're not gonna believe this. Well, I guess some of y'all may believe it. Um, but goats absolutely love rose bushes and the thorns do not bother them whatsoever. Is that crazy? Just like the deer can eat your roses up Goat's essentially a, uh, pretty much a, very similar to a deer, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give these to the goats for a treat. I don't think, I'm not a cow expert, so I don't know about that, but I don't think cows care for them too much. I know goats do. Look here, Topper. Look here, buddy. Look what I got you. Look at here. Yeah, see, I don't think, I don't think Moody's going to like them. Yeah, see, the thorns, the thorns are messing with Moody a little bit, I believe. But the goats, the goats, well, I don't know, Moody's getting a big old pull off that one now. What do you think, Moo Man? Huh? That's not grass. I'm not built for this. I ate that one on up though. All right, so look, don't let the cows out near your rose garden. Just saying. Just saying. I'm gonna pull it on out, Moo. But the goats, the thorns do not bother the goats whatsoever. That's just amazing. I mean, look at Topper chomping down on it like it ain't nothing. Topper's eating it like it's a a homemade biscuit with some honey on it, I'm telling you. And a little bit of butter. Moody's being a little cautious. All right, I'll give you guys a little bit more and I gotta go give the other ones some too. Everybody's gonna get some. Here you go, Joe. Don't take it, Jojo. Don't take it. If you don't want it now, I'm gonna give it the top. Here you go, Topper. All right, let me go get the other goat some. Everybody's gotta get a little treat. What's up, old man? What's up, old man? Giving these uh, rose bushes to the girls. Hey, ladies, look at here. Let me put them in your hay rack. Hmm? Wind's starting to pick up. Y'all look at there. Oh my gracious. Oh my gracious. Y'all have it. How about it, girls? Isn't it good? Yeah. Well, we gotta run and get y'all some hay tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. We sure do. All right, ladies. Y'all enjoy your snack. Mildred, you gonna try a piece? Come on, try you some, Mildred. She don't know about that. The goats say, them thorns don't bother us, sir. Y'all hear Scott? Them thorns do not bother us at all, sir. Crazy. Our goats are just made different. Ain't it, Mildred? Y'all are closely related. Both are rumens, ruminants. Um, both have multiple stomachs. But the thorns don't bother those guys, do it, does it? Crazy, ain't it? Alright, y'all have a wonderful day. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. Mm-hmm. Over fields and through the country Letting go of everything but us mm -hmm. Over the rainbow If we hold tight We can chase the Mississippi through the night 